What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today, today I have something really special. No, it's not my car. It's not a family member's. It's not my dad's. It's not a friend's car. It's actually a customer's car, but it's really special because it's a Triumph. It's a TR6 and I really, really like these cars. There's something special, you know, they're small, fast, you know, a little high performance British car. So I really like them and I always wanted to get one and do a 2J swap. Uh, of course, uh, turbo, but uh, I never got uh, across any. And the ones that I found, they were like super expensive, so I'm like, no, and nice looking cars, so I'm like, no, I don't want to ruin it. But I got lucky because this customer called me and he's like, hey, I have this car and I want to do an engine swap, I just want to make it reliable. So I told him I got a perfect motor and of course, 2G. I tried talking to him into getting a GTE, but he told me this is my budget. If you're able to do it, then go ahead and do a GTE. If not, then let's just do a GE as long as it's reliable. So I'm going to go with the GE. And um, let me go ahead and show you guys the motor. I got it from a Lexus SC300 and it looks super clean. So let me go ahead and show you guys what I'm going to be dropping in this car. This is the 2J I'm going to be using. It came out of a SC300. It was automatic, but I'm going to go with a 5-speed. Pretty much, I'm going to clean it up, remove the head, replace gasket seals, water pump, timing belt, thermostat. And once I get it ready, I should be able to start doing the mounts. I took the motor apart, and it looks pretty clean. I removed the, one of the valve covers, and um, it doesn't look like there's any sludge or anything inside the any build up inside the motor so it's a good sign okay so i took the motor apart except for the bottom end i removed the head um, that one's gonna go to the machine shop most of the parts i'm gonna clean them up and some of them i'm gonna paint them once i get the gaskets and i get the head back uh, i'm gonna put it all back together and start working on the mounts okay i got the head back from the machine shop the only thing I did was resurface it and check the valves, make sure they're sealing properly, which they are. On the block, um, I drained the oil, everything looks clean, so, I mean, the oil is dirty, but there's no metal debris or anything, so I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Um, I got some of the parts, the head gasket, water pump, and seals. Um, I clean all the other parts, so I'm going to paint them, and I'm going to start putting everything back together. Okay, so I finished bolting on the head. I just put the valve covers on so there's no dust going inside inside the uh, the cams. Um, I'm gonna install the front seal and the rear main seal. And also the timing belt, I got a Gates timing belt. But first I gotta install the water pump, I got a new water pump. This is the old one, this is the new one. So I'm gonna be installing the water pump and then the front seal. Then I'm going to install the timing belt and then I'm going to paint the valve covers and bolt them on and I should be done with this 2J. So this is the progress so far. I installed a new timing belt, a new water pump, the cam seals, the crank seal, the rear main. I painted the valve covers brown to try to match the color of the car. I already installed new spark plugs. I got to put the gaskets on. I just put the covers on to see how it looks. So I'm going to be installing the, uh, the valve cover gaskets. I also painted the covers and uh, I'm going to be putting a new thermostat. I'm not going to boost this motor, so no, this turbo is not for that motor. Um, I wish I would, but not on this project. Um, I'm going to put a flywheel and a clutch. I will be using the W58 because it makes no sense to use the R154 if it's not going to be boosted but um i'm almost done i'm gonna try to get headers for it um if i'm able to get any and then um hopefully i'll start working on the mounts tomorrow okay so i'm gonna get the engine bay ready so i can drop the motor in uh, i'm gonna start removing a couple of things like this these wires right here um i got this uh, slave cylinder that i'm not gonna use i'm gonna use a different one the, some hoses that i'm gonna replace so I'm going to start moving a couple of things I'm not going to need. Then I'm going to clean the engine bay. 
Um, after I'll drop the motor in and I'm gonna start working on the motor mounts. Hopefully I don't have to cut anything from the car. I don't wanna cut anything. I wanna leave everything the way it is. But um, if I have no choice, I'm gonna have to like trim or, or cut some pieces, which I hope I don't have to do. And uh, the rack and pinion, I'm gonna leave the rack and pinion original and the steering shaft. I'm not gonna put power steering. Hopefully the car is not too heavy after I drop the motor in and um, the customer is able to steer no problem. But I mean, regardless, he should be able to steer no problem. But uh, sometimes you drop a heavier motor in and it becomes a little bit of a hassle, even if the car didn't come with power steering. But I'm going to leave that the way it is. So I'm going to start working on, on the engine bay. I'm going to start moving stuff and um, uh, I'll come back with you guys and I'll show you when uh, once I'm ready to drop the motor in and start working on the mounts. Okay, so I got the car ready to drop the motor in. I sprayed the chassis. I didn't want to um, spray the engine bay because I don't know if it's the original color. Some people prefer to keep the original paint. I don't think it's the original, but I don't want to mess with it. Even though there's some rust and I don't like it, but I'm not going to mess with that. So the rest of the stuff I did spray, like just the chassis and the steering shaft. So I'm going to see. I think I have to remove this right here as well. This is for the throttle, but um, I think I'm going to go with the Toyota pedal because I'm not going to be able to use this mechanism. So uh, I think I'm going to get rid of this right now and then I'm going to I'm going to have to put a different pedal. I don't know if <laughs> I don't know how it's going to work because I think the pedal is behind the, the steering shaft. So uh, I'll figure it out. It's not a big deal. I'll figure that out. So so pretty much this is ready. The car is ready. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the motor ready. Um, I got the motor back here. So here's the motor. I gotta put a different filter because this is a, I guess this is a, the, an old one. I got a new one right here. And then I got the clutch. I have the clutch right here. I'm not gonna put power steering. So, so I'm gonna use this kit from Drift Motion to bypass the, um, the power steering and this right here is the clutch i spray the pressure plate but it's just a regular clutch so i think it's a look if i'm not mistaken and i'm gonna use that oil i'm gonna use the castor and then this right here is the fuse box i'm not gonna need this till later on i still gotta find the harness i had the harness i don't know where i left it and and over here i got the the computer i'm gonna go with the original computer this is automatic not a problem i could still use the five speed and then i have the uh the crank pulley right here and i got a couple of parts that i need to clean over here i didn't clean the, the hooks and then i got a cooling temp sensor uh, i got two cooling temp sensors okay and then i have this right here this is the rear main i need to put the rear main on i never got to the rear main so that's pretty much it so I'm going to get the motor ready. I'm going to probably put it on the table and I'm going to crank it. I want to I want to get some oil flowing. And uh, once I put the oil, the filter, I crank it and I make sure there's oil pressure. I'm going to drop it inside of the car. OK, right now I'm going to install the rear main. I didn't install it last time, so I'm going to put it on right now. Then I'm going to connect the motor to the tranny. I'm going to remove the shifter and then I'm going to start working on the motor mounts. If I don't have to pull out the motor anymore, I'm going to leave it inside. But if I have to trim something or shave something, I'm going to pull it out again. So I'm going to go ahead and install the clutch right now. Uh, put everything together and I'm going to drop it inside of the car. And I'll get back with you guys. Okay, so I already installed the rear main. That's the new one. This is the old one. And I was able to get all the parts for the clutch. So I got a, I got a the throw bearing, the pilot bearing right here and uh, well this is something else this is for the thermostat for another motor but i was able to get everything for the clutch so i'm gonna bolt on the transmission to the motor i'm gonna drop it in the car and hopefully i don't have to bring it out anymore because i was gonna drop it in and i was gonna pull it out again but if everything works if everything's complete and i'm able to do the mounts i'm not gonna take out the motor and turn it. i'm just gonna leave them there and i'm just gonna finish it up so i'm gonna go ahead and bolt everything on and um, i'm gonna start doing the mounts Okay, the transmission is ready, the motor is ready, I already bolted on the clutch. So I'm going to put them together and drop them inside of the motor. Okay, so I dropped the motor in and I have issues already. So the uh, the oil filter is hitting with the steering shaft. 
So I'm gonna either remove the steering shaft for now and until I do the motor mounts and then most likely I'm gonna use a oil relocator, which is not a big deal. And then the second issue I have, it's here on the back. So it's already hidden. And I need to move the motor back like three or four more inches. I think I'm gonna do five just in case, but I need to move it back and um, it's already hidden over here on the rack and pinion and it's hitting right here so what i'm gonna do is so i'm just gonna cut a section of this till it clears i'm gonna probably get rid of these supports right here I'm, I'm, i don't think i need them so i'll probably just get rid of this i'll probably just put different ones on if i have to i don't think i have to but um i'm gonna cut a section i'm gonna push the motor all the way back and i think the shifter is gonna sit right where it's supposed to be so i'm gonna blow the motor again i'm gonna cut about five inches and then i'll drop it back in again and see if it clears okay so i cut a piece of firewall so this is how it looks so i'm gonna try to slide the engine all the way back and i also removed the uh the steering shaft i got it over here so, and um i'm gonna have to get a oil relocator but first i'm gonna drop it in and i'm gonna see how it sits and if i have any other clearance issues then um i'll figure something out but i mean from now on it should be a simple swap hopefully okay so this is the progress so far i already um set the motor where i want it it's already leveled so i check the angle on the differential i'm getting three degrees and i check the angle on the transmission on the output shaft i'm getting three degrees as well so i mean i, I can show you guys right now this is this is about four degrees I mean, if i put it somewhere else it might change to three see so it's it's between three and four so i mean not not bad and um i mean i can check the angle right here as well so i'm gonna move this out of the way and it's uh zero so everything's pretty much nice and leveled let me put this back on so i got everything ready to start doing the mounts i'm gonna start working on the mounts i'm just gonna do the brackets and i'm gonna bolt on some motor mounts but um i got a couple of uh, issues like the intake it doesn't clear i already tried an intake and it doesn't clear the the 2j intake is too long so i'm gonna do a custom intake and most likely i'm gonna have to shave more metal or more sheet metal out, out of the car which i didn't want to do because i wanted to keep it as stock as possible but i already cut the uh, firewall so it don't matter anymore and on this side i'm not gonna be able to use the headers um, I would have to shave a lot of metal, including the uh, the passenger side of the car. Like where you rest your feet and stuff, and I don't want to do that. So on this one, I have a couple of other options. I don't care, it's not going to be turbocharged, so it doesn't matter. I'm just going to connect the exhaust however I'm able to connect it, so that's not a big deal. And my third problem is going to be the rack and pinion. Well, not the rack and pinion, but the um, the steering shaft so i might get around the oil filter but i'm not gonna be able to get around the the intake so i'm gonna figure something out about the the steering shaft um i got a couple of options already so it's not a big deal i mean i thought this was gonna be an easy swap but it, it, it's not complicated it's not hard but um it's gonna require more work than i expected but i don't care man as long as i could get it running and it works i'll be happy so i'm gonna start working on the motor mounts i'm gonna do the brackets i'm gonna go get some mounts because i don't have any right now and um i'll show you guys the progress okay so i'm about ready to start doing the motor mounts i bought material to do the brackets and these are the motor mounts i'm gonna be using they're from a 97 dodge viper they're like about 20 dollars each mount so they're pretty cheap and hopefully they'll be strong enough i've used the ones from the the vans and the pickup trucks dodge from the 90s and they work pretty well uh in this case i'm gonna go with the viper ones i already i already installed one of the mounts so that's the bracket right here i'm gonna keep the original 2j bracket and then the motor mount is sitting down there so all i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna do a, another bracket that is gonna bolt onto the chassis there's like an angle on the motor mount already so i'm gonna keep that angle i'm just gonna do the brackets weld them on and just bolt everything back on should work pretty simple so i'm gonna cut a couple of pieces 
and weld them on and then i'll show you guys how it looks okay so i did a couple of brackets so this one's gonna be where the motor mount is gonna sit and then and then the other two they're gonna sit on the on the chassis and i'm gonna weld them together so i'm gonna go ahead and put them on i'm gonna weld them on and then i'll show you guys how it looks okay so i'm pretty much done with the bracket this is how it looks so i'm gonna clean it up a little bit i'm gonna paint it this is the bracket for the transmission so i'm gonna clean it up paint it and i'm gonna install it so this is how it looks so i'm gonna slide it in and then i'm just gonna bolt it onto the transmission and i'm pretty much done with the other motor mounts for the mo for the engine so this is one of them i welded a bracket on this side and i welded another bracket on this other side so i'm gonna go ahead and just clean them up a little bit and then i'm gonna paint them and i'm just gonna bolt everything down and i'm gonna be able to remove the car from the lift for now because i got other things i gotta do and i don't need it on the lift anymore so i'm gonna go ahead and finish that up and then and i'll show you guys how it looks once it's done okay so i'm pretty much done with the motor mounts uh let me show you guys how they look i have to use the light because it's kind of dark but here's one side so that's how this one looks and then let me go to the tranny one so that's the transmission one i sprayed it black and um i put the uh the, the toyota mount so it fits pretty good and then let me go to the one on this side uh here's the other one the other side has a brake line so it was kind of in the way i just moved it to the side but um but this one there's nothing here so i have more space to um to do the bracket so let me bring the car down and, and show you guys how it looks okay guys so the motor is finally inside and bolted on this is how it looks so i gotta do the exhaust i got a couple of options for the exhaust i can't throw the headers on i was gonna throw the headers but i don't have enough room and i don't want to shave a lot of sheet metal so I'm, I'm just gonna go with a different option for the exhaust and the intake i gotta do a custom intake because the uh, original one doesn't fit i would have to remove the booster and shave a lot of sheet metal so i'm not gonna do that i'm just gonna do a custom intake i'm gonna have somebody help me do it and the oil filter i already got the relocation kit so i'm gonna install that later on and the only thing i'm gonna have to shave is um a little bit of metal for the fork on the on the clutch it's it's not hitting right now but when you hit uh, step on the pedal it's gonna hit i just gotta shave a little bit of sheet metal and it should clear and um i think that's gonna be it all right guys so that's gonna be it for this video thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and as soon as i get that intake manifold i'm gonna continue working on the car and i'll uh, share with you guys the uh, process of putting this together thank you and i'll see you guys later